Hey guys, welcome to another CSGO tutorial video. In this one we're going to be making a sticker and it's not going to be so much about Photoshop as it is about the details of how to get it working with uh, CSGO and get the glossy effect on the sticker. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started uh, I'm going to make a new document of size 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels and I'm going to make a new layer. Now what I did was I found a, a Desert Eagle picture off of the internet and I just copied the whole thing and then filled it in with black. So I'm going to be using my pre-made one and I'm simply going to slide it over using shift and dragging it and then I'm going to duplicate this layer and I will, and I'm going to horizontal flip this one. So edit, transform, flip horizontal. And then I'm going to drag it over to where I want it, holding shift. And that looks right, so there we go. And for this last part, I went and I found another picture of the internet for a dollar sign. Um, you can also just get it out of text if you just use the dollar sign symbol. So I'm going to be using this one over here. Oops. So that looks about right. And then what I did here was I just found a good color or a good shade of gold, painted it over, and then I made a new layer, dragged it down. And I went to select, grow, or excuse me, not grow. Went to select, uh, modify, expand, expand it by five pixels, and just fill in on the uh, layer beneath the original one. And there, so now we have this, and we need to get rid of the background and flatten the image. I'm going to merge this down. Okay. Now we need to make, we need to go to the channels tab after selecting everything. Control click. And then we need to make a new channel of the selected areas. And this is what's going to be, this is what's going to say what's invisible and what is visible. So I'm going to inverse the selection using control shift i and then I'm going to look at only this layer and oops and fill in here and that looks right so all this is white so that means that only this part's going to show all the black stuff is going to be invisible in the model viewer so now we need to save this as a um dot tga but I'll do I'll save it as a PSG, PSD just because. And then we need to save it as a um, TGA as well. So we go to TGA, then save. And hit OK. Now the next step is to get uh, VTF, VTF edit open which I'll have a link to downloading in the description. So we open VTF edit and that's the wrong button. And then I press import. We'll import the sticker 2.tga. And all of these settings look right. Um, so if you need to change anything you can pause here and um, change it to this. I'll hit OK. And um, make it full screen. The things that need to be selected are no MIP map and no level detail. And then I will export this. Or, I'm sorry, I need to save it as a VTF. So we'll save it as sticker 2.vtf. And there's that. So now we need to make a 
dot vmt, which is a text document um, that will like specify all the different effects on the um, BTF. So um, I will have this in the description to copy down and put into a new dot vmt. Basically, you need to save it as you need to make sure you have all files selected and save it as sticker vmt. I'll call this one sticker two for the sake of this tutorial. And the things that you need to change are the path to where your sticker is saved. This is where mine's saved. And then the rest of it should work fine. Okay, so the next step is just to open up the Half-Life Model Viewer. And you can do that by going to your Steam library and then opening up a Counter-Strike Global Offensive SDK. And then double-clicking on the Model Viewer. After you do that, this window will pop up, and then we'll be able to load our model into here, or our texture, sorry. So we're going to load uh, the sticker preview model for now, so we can see the sticker on here. And I'll zoom out a bit. So all you have to do is go to materials, click on sticker preview work in progress, and then place it with our BMT. And we can see that it has some white edges, but that can be fixed in Photoshop and you can see how it's glossy because of the alpha channel and because we chose decal style 5. So this is how you view uh, your CSGO sticker and that's it. Thanks for watching.